So I'm going to start with the question, if you guys want, what's great in the world or what's terrible in the world? Which one you want? It doesn't matter because all in the end, it's going to be well. Give us the bad news first. Ah, wait, 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 wait. That was a very good answer. I can't just, I can't just brush over that answer. That answer was quite, quite profound and actually very, very true. Very, very good. Very good, Rod. You get 10 brownie points for that one. Very good. Okay, so who else? What do you want to hear the good news? How great the world is? Well, the world is great. But what? how the situation is fantastic, the situation is awful. Which one do you want to hear? Give us the bad news and then after give us good news so we can yes. continue feeling good. Ah, very good. That's also very good. That is... That is actually the Jewish way, which is that the day starts at night, right? The reason why day starts at night is because in the Jewish history, we have to go through the challenges to get to the light. Most people don't want to go through the challenges. They just want to get the goodies at the end. So you said very good, Laura. Everyone's getting brownie points today. I don't know what's going on. We're just full of brownies. Fantastic. Uh, very good point. The bad news and the good news. Okay, let's start with the bad news. So, there are 70 nations in the world. America is seemingly one of those 70. Now, I say seemingly is because it's not fully. It's one of the horns of Rome. So it's it's a it's a it's a very very big uh, um, uh, let's say um, uh, Malchus, a very strong uh, 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 leader in the world, right? Because really, what the who are the leaders? What was the leader? You have the Jewish people, then you had Babylon, that's the gold in the vision of Daniel. Then you have Persia and Medea, that's the silver. Then you have Greece, and Greece transitions into Rome. And Rome, Rome is iron. It's iron. And in the vision of Daniel, later on, what happens with Rome is that it's seen when they're when the when the uh, kingdoms are seen as uh, animals. So we have a lion is Babylon. Babylon is a lion. And then Persia is a bear. And then Greece is a leopard. And then Rome is this monster. Monster. Like, it's not a describable animal. And at one point it has a lot of horns, which represent the different nations that the Roman Empire will divide into. So it would seem fairly... Um, uh, obvious that to me at least I, I i have not seen this per se but i i don't i don't you know i think it's 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 it seems to be pretty clear america is some component of that that would seem to be because we're in the roman exile where rome is supersedent and it has different tentacles it's russia Russia is, is going to be Rome also. Ah, America and Rome are fighting. Okay. You know, they don't know what they're fighting about. They're fighting about something. But but those are not. Now, so the bad news is that America's withholding of arms to Israel is a statement of the moral fiber and spiritual level of the nation of America. And I cannot give you any clearer uh, um, uh, degradation of the understanding of, I'm going to say your nation, because I can't take um, uh, responsibility for that. But I can tell you also, and one of the, the, the things about that, that, you know, you get you get people... And I, and I want to call out uh, Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer is a uh, the head of the Senate, and he's supposedly Jewish. Now, 
I, I, I don't know Chuck Schumer's soul. I don't know how to reach souls. The Arizal, the great uh, a Kabbalist sage, would look at a person and tell him what, where his soul was. He would look at a person and say, this is what your soul was in the past. This is what you were. I can't tell you exactly who Chuck Schumer is. I'm not, I'm, I don't come up. It's not. It's not humility for to say I don't come up to the ankles of the ankles, the ankles, the ankles of the Arizo. I don't. I have no. But no. No connection to the. I mean, I, I, I try to to understand his words to whatever degree I can. But Chuck Schumer simply was part of the Arizov. I, I hate to say it, Chuck, and I pray for you to get out of it. But you had to be part of the Arab. You had to be part of the mixed multitudes that left Egypt. And that's what the sages tell us. They tell us that, that, that there will be some Jews who will be on the side of wrong because they are the side of the Arab, the mixed multitudes that told the Jews to worship the golden calf. So the religion of America, the new golden calf of Whatever wokeism, schmokeism, bulkism, whatever, whatever idiocy, um, the stupid country of 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 America is is espousing. And again, I say that as as a person who appreciates America, I really, really hope America America had us really had you know uh, make America great again. Yeah, was it was it great? Yeah, for 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 a secular nation, it was the greatest secular nation that there was. It was not the greatest nation ever, you know. So, uh, you know, so that that needs to be understood. Solomon's nation, the Jewish nation under David and Solomon, that was the greatest nation ever. But as far as America goes, yeah, they did. They did, they created something with uh, with thought. And right now, they are in in a serious serious decline. And um, and it's amazing. It's amazing. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what will happen to America. As I always tell you the story, the um, and I repeat, I told you the story a million times. But I'll say it to you again, because <laughs> if I could say it again to the senator today, I would say it to him and it would be even truer than ever. I told you the story one time. There was a, we had a we had a group and they had uh, these guys were not. Let's say, Orthodox Jews, but they were Jews that really sensed that that like the the new forms of made up Judaism were not real. That they that that's what they were, but they knew something not right. So they they you know they saw the world in a very different way than let's say the leftist type like uh, Chuck Schumer and those people. So they they had a they had a um, meeting with a senator. I told you the story. Anyway, but he they, they, the senator was there. And it was a turn in time of Obama. He was going to put the, throw Israel into the bus in the UN. And then I said to the guy, I said, I said, Listen, I really hope America supports supports Israel. He says, me too. So I said, I want to tell you something, but you should just know that why I say that. Not because of Israel. Not to us. We're fine. We have Hashem on our side. I say for America. Because if you don't, you're gone. And it was silence. Now, like, oh, no, he brought the rabbi in here. He's going to say and speak his mind. What's going to happen? It's quiet. And the guy says, you're 100% right. I'm so right. So, and I'll, I'll go even further than that. I will tell you that America posed a concealment of God's miracles. When the president goes around and says, oh, we helped to thwart the 500 missiles that was sent against Israel to destroy the state by the Iranian terrorists. So that was a concealment of God's miracles. And so... You wonder, should I say, oh, America, please help us. Help us, help us don't help us. You ain't doing nothing. You want a piece of it or a piece of truth? Take it. You don't? You go at, in the ash heap of history with the Babylonians. You could do that. But there are good people. And that's the good news. 
The good news is, is that the world, when it gets towards a point of tikkun, of fixing up, the bad starts to like really congeal. It just becomes crazy. And like, you got to know what, and, so, and that, and, and so you, you can't, you, when you look at it, you say, wait a minute, is the world getting better or is it getting worse? And the answer is both. Because as it's getting closer to truth and revelation, the people who want to fight it, they yell and scream louder. And that's what it says in Psalms and Tehillim. That it says that the Gogu Magog, Gog is the king of the land of Magog. Who is he? I don't know. But he will come to fight against God and the Mashiach. What? <laughs> when God Hashem reveals the Mashiach, I was, uh, all normal human beings, like everyone on this call, and I, I pray that everyone who gets to hear this message will say, ooh, ooh we don't want to be on the side of wrong. We want to do what God wants. But there are people that will stand up and say, no, I don't want it. Don't want what God wants. And that's what's going on. So that's the good news and the bad news, Laura. You said fantastic. The bad news is the world looks nuttier than ever. Obviously, they know that Trump should spend six billion years in jail because obviously he's the biggest crook in history. Ah, oh, gosh, Robert De Niro, the raging bull. He knows. It's, it's nuts. It's nuts. It's absolutely crazy. President Trump did the most for the Jewish people in history. He's got Jewish grandchildren, uh, president of America, that is. Maybe Harry Truman, but in terms of what he would do, you know, uh, as Jewish grandchildren running on the White House, and and well, he's an anti-Semite. Uh, uh, uh. A woman's a man. Right, he's back, back, right. I'm his up. Beautiful is ugly. Ugly is beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, so now, uh, I, I I don't know. I think America is literally cut in half right now. It's two nations. Maybe the Civil War or killing a million people wasn't the best solution. Oh, how could you say that, Rabbi? That is like, that is like uh, accepted conventional wisdom that was the only solution have a million two hundred people killed in the civil war i don't know because everyone knows abraham was the greatest president ever i don't know but you got two nations again you got two literal nations and i don't know democracy what's going to happen when you vote for democracy hamas was voted in by democracy hamas was elected by the people who support Hamas. And you people on campus would like to say, well, those are the innocent people. But what do you mean? What, what are you talking about? Uh, you're right. I don't know. I mean, I want to be very sure before I, I go and I fight a war that I no one got, I don't want to hurt anyone that shouldn't get hurt. Of course, nobody does. But you tell them about incidental casualties because they're pinpointing and they're getting our own people killed. I disagree with the IDF. But not because the reasons that they sent campus, because they shouldn't endanger one, one Jewish soldier. I, I don't know what should happen. The, 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 the son of Hamas, who has said, people, you are, this is the culture Rebel against your culture, like they should do in Iran. I, I don't want to say, but because I don't want to get into politics. Politics in the, is a nasty, nasty business. But uh, who helped? Who helped the people of Iran when they wanted to rebel against the Ayatollahs? It wasn't the president of the United States, if you know what I mean. Which one? I'll let you figure that one out. But that's the uh, now. Now, you got another problem here. 
So you have the problem of America, which is essentially Asim, essentially Edom. But in the vision of Daniel on the feet, it goes from, from iron to clay. As you probably heard the term, clay, feet of clay, was a copper of consciousness, what people try to understand what they understand. But the clay and the iron represent the idea of Rome and the last power before the Mashiach comes. Because in the vision of Daniel, if you read in Daniel, what happens is, in the end, the feet of clay crash, the whole thing crashes, and the little stone of Judah comes a giant mountain. So what is that combination of the of the iron and the clay? Well, the clay and the iron is now the two head nations at the end, which is Rome, the Western world, and the Arab nation, Yishmael. But they don't really go together. You know, <laughs> you know they have they have you know uh, gays for gays for Gaza. You know, queers for Palestine. I mean, it's like you don't you don't really go together, guys. You know. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's only it's only funny because it, it's 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 the ignorance is so sad that you just gotta laugh, right? So so the 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 iron and the and the clay, they don't, they don't go together. But that's Rome at the end, and it's also Yishmael. And Yishmael is really the last exile. And and um, and it's it, and what happens to Yishmael is interesting because what happened to his forefather is he repented, he did tshuva, the end of his life. He realized that um, Isaac Yitzchak went first, which was his real difficulty. He realized, he acknowledged it. And God willing, um, you know, Arab nations will recognize it too. I mean, you know, the, the Abraham Accords, which, you know, if it was done by uh, other presidents, would have been uh, a, a many, many, many Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> But like you know, but we don't we don't we don't deal with reality here. We deal with our version of it. So, uh, but that that's a unifying of of the children of Abraham of Isaac Yitzchak with Yishmael in a way that's healthy. But the Yishmaels that don't want to accept that are very very dangerous. They 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 choose death over life. That's what they choose. And it's not, I'm not, there's not hyperbole. That's what they choose. They choose death over life. That, that is what it is. To raise their child to die. Because that is what they view as, as noble. Die for the cause instead of living for the cause. So if you have a, a, a you know, culture of death, it's very hard. And if you have a crazy, you know, like, that we just, ah, we have to destroy. So that's the final peace. And that's what we're in. So I saw something that I, I I just saw this headline. I thought this was the most beautiful thing. I, and I hope it's true. I saw that president that the Prime Minister Netanyahu said he was putting on tefillin for a uh, a a soldier who died. The mother said to him, This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. The son won't die in vain. You, 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 the, the, the person who is the secular leader of a secular country who is trying to, who's in this pivotal position for him to go and to, to connect as a Jewish leader is a very, very powerful thing. Very, very powerful. That's why people that ask me, you know, somebody asked me this a little while ago. I, I don't see it on the call right now, but, um, we had we had it from um, from Jacob in in South Korea. He asked me the question about the the Jews that apparently do not support the state of Israel, and I try to explain a little bit. But the ra rationale is because there's different ways that the redemption could come. We don't know exactly. We know in the end the the, the Jewish state will be a beacon of light to the whole world. There'll be a base of means, there'll be a temple, there'll be truth, there'll be prosperity, there'll be no more wars, there'll be no more pain, there'll be no more suffering, there'll be prosperity, there'll be truth. 
because all of that stuff without truth is nothing. It's just it's just an illusion. So we know that that's 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 the process. And and but was it going to happen as a totally religious state? Would it first start as a secular state run by some people from the era of Ruff? And that's the left wingers that I, I don't I don't mean to be politics. I don't care about politics, but the people who don't who don't who don't sense what is what is uh, what is true and fight against it. So they live in they reside in America and in, in, in certain cramps in America. And unfortunately, the Jewish people have that that problem too, which is called the mixed multitudes, the Arab. Rock. But the transition, the moving into truth, is the great news ladder. But the 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 how it plays out, I, I hope it's not going to be too harsh. And as Broad said in the beginning, yeah, whatever's going to be the truth is the truth, nothing else. You can yell and scream, you can kick and scream, that's but it's reality. And when the Mashiach, Hashem reveals the time of the Mashiach. And I don't want to, I have to say to you because like you know people who who you know the idea of Mashiach was not known in the world. Christianity made it a thing. Islam took it and made it a thing, but but it's 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 rooted in 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 the truth of Judaism of the Torah, and people sort of kind of misunderstand it, and they could put their faith in the man. It's at the man, Hashem is revealing truth. Through his sages, through his Torah, and through the descendant from the house of David, that that will lead that 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 period of time in. But it's Hashem revealing his truth, and that's that's happening. And the only the good news is is that the reality of the world is in is is in what you choose to be. If if you choose to be in the side of right and to do what is good, Hashem rewards everyone, Jewish, not Jewish, male, female, black, white, there's there's no there's nothing else. How how it looks. I know it looks at the end. <laughs> how we get there, I don't know. We're in the middle of the movie. So that's my thoughts. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I see my phone's gonna die soon. So I'm gonna open some questions. Uh, before I, uh, but that that's my message too. The message is is that yes, on one hand, it is crazier than nuttier than this and that, da, 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 you know, crazier. You know, I thought of maybe speaking about Trump derangement syndrome because uh, if you want to have uh, people that that could think to vote in America, it's important to understand that disease. Uh, it's a disease that needs explaining. Maybe next class we'll we'll go through the symptoms and and the and the treatments for it. <laughs> but, but whatever it is, you know, he's not the king of Israel. He, he doesn't need to be a tzaddik. He needs to have his head on straight to do to do what's what's obvious and right. So uh, uh, so God willing, that that will happen for America and for the Jewish people. We uh, we are uniting. We are seeing the truth. The Chuck Schumers of the world in America are their voices are being uh, 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 drowned out by the sounds of those who who are who are understanding truth. Today's Yom Hazikaron, the day of the day of uh, of remembrance, and even though it doesn't have a a, a religious holiday, but but the, the truth of of what it is, a person that gives their life up to to go for the for the Jewish people and the Jewish nation, they have a straight ticket to the to the closest levels of of of, of experiencing Hashem. My son just sent me a picture of these soldiers, you know, by their tanks, and they're and they're and they're in the Shimon Esrei, the solemn prayer. You know, and uh, the Yishmael it says Yishmael has has a merit. They called out to God. Their 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 grandfather did tshuva, Yishmael, and they have a prayer. And that's why it says in the sages it says that they would they would take over the holy spot as a place marker until until the Jewish people take it back. But I called them also to like see the truth. Don't 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 go into a cult of death. See the truth. Use your power of prayer. Use your understanding from Abraham. 
But it says in the verse, Ki because an Isaac will be called the seed of Abraham. You're also the seed of Abraham. But you have to understand your place and understand it and embrace it. And it's very beautiful. And uh, call on the whole world to 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 get together with with truth. I know it's hard. Everyone wants to be the one in, in charge. Everyone wants to be the one top. Everyone wants to be the one that wins. No, mm-hmm. not about winning. It's about what does Hashem want. What does God? Rabbi Lara's got her hand up. Yes, Lara, please. Yeah, I have a quick question. You said yeah. that the Ishmael is praying to God. I understand some of the Ishmaelites they pray um, in in peace. With full um, um, uh, emuna, I guess the right word. But those who go out, or, or or the ones who did the killing, and everyone around them, they're cheering Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The way that those words are coming out of their mouth, how is that? How how is God going to accept that? Okay, as I, great words? question. A great question. Okay, I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to take as a, when my phone dies. I'm going to take it as a sign because I have to go learn my 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 things that I'm learning. So we're going to speak, God willing, till the end of the class. If my phone dies, then we'll pick up next week. God willing, too. But I, it's a great question, and I'll tell you the answer. If you look in the Torah, it says that Abraham married Sarah. That's the ch- children of Jewish people. Sarah, the handmaiden named Hagar, she was an Egyptian princess who wanted to do right, but she was an Egyptian. And in the whole story, when 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 Abraham and Sarah went down to Egypt, when they Sarah, Sarah brought, when Hashem brought plagues upon uh, Pharaoh, when he took Sarah, so then uh, Pharaoh sent his daughter, his princess, said, go, and it's better you be a, a, a handmaiden to this nation than to be amongst us. It's a very big merit. So, so Abraham then is united with Hagar, on the command, on the request of Sarah, of Sarah, and God says she's right, and it, the child, the verse says, will be a para adam. A para means a wild, wild, out of control, and adam means a man, a human being. Abraham is from the side of the human, the belief in Hashem, and the Egyptians which were the, the the ancient Egyptians. The Egyptians of today is a different people. But the ancient Egyptians were from the side of the the, the the power of the donkey, a wild donkey. And so it comes together. And it's a very uncontrolled uh, power. It's the belief that whatever I think, you know, where I pray, that's the truth. If I blow something up, that's what it's God's will. It, it's a it's a wild combination of two things that are pulling the opposite way and create a extremism that is built into the DNA. Now, so there is no condoning those who use that DNA because no DNA means you have to be evil. People have free will to take their qualities and use them. So the wild man, the para other, can take that and subjugate it when Ishmael, their great, great, great grandfather, in the end of his life did. So there is no justification for the murderers. They will suffer from Hashem, the tremendous, tremendous uh, punishment for what, for what they've chose to do. And it doesn't mean that there's not justice because everything that happens to us is from Hashem, not from them. They're not, they are just a stick. They're not. But but the stick will be punished because they chose to be that. And therefore to call on those who don't want to embrace that and find a new way of life, that's what you got to do. There's a billion, billion, a billion Muslims. Now, again, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not saying I, I don't subscribe to <laughs> to a two state solution or a three state three religion. That, I don't subscribe to any of that. There's Torah and there's truth, and when Yishmael in the future can be part of that truth, as all seventy nations can be. 
And there, there are there were people from Edom who are Nazis. They're a Malek. Does that mean that every person of Esav is doomed? No, but 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 you have them right in your midst in America. You got them. They're actually the ones that are calling everyone else Nazis. That's how you tell today. <laughs> you, know? you can't talk about the big lie. Oh, what's the big lie? I don't know. What's the big lie? Uh, it wouldn't be that that Corona was was made in a laboratory. It wouldn't be that Donald Trump was not a spy for 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 uh, for Russia. Must be true also. Every single thing that that has been said as a conspiracy theory in America over the past three years has actually been true. So, what's the big lie you can't question? Because you're a crazy nut if you do. If you say that this election there was maybe some funny business, and you're you're you believe the big lie. So why do I say that? Because when I say it. You can't you can't question it. That's a big lie. I, I don't want to be a nut. I don't want to be a nut. I can't question that. So you have people right now in your midst, Americans, that are Nazis, and they're calling the other person a Nazi. So can the can America pull out of it? I hope so. Can the Arabs pull out of it? I hope so. But whether they do or they don't, it's only an individual decision. It's not going to change one thing. Hashem will bring the truth. The Jewish people will recognize the truth. And the whole world will then recognize the truth. And the ones who don't, won't. That's simple. Achayim, achayim, achayim.